It's JC1424 once again with Sly 2 Band of Thieves. And this is going to be episode 13. In the last episode, we did another mission with Bentley where we were drugging Rajan with watermelons so that we could put him to sleep and take some blueprint files. Except I would get caught after every single time I collected one. But apparently that didn't take away my files from me. And then after that, we got some spice plants and we put them inside of a, a, a little bag for the elephants to eat. And I think one of them just went rampaging through the freaking swamp forest, whatever this place is, but uh, in today's episode, both missions that we're going to be doing are with Sly, and we got our first one that we're going to do is right here, we're going to go just pretty much left to right, and then we've got another one with Bentley all the way over here, but yeah, we got four missions available, but okay, we're going to do these two, and then in episode 14, we'll do the two over here, but uh, this one right here is Nayla's Secret, so let's go find out what Nayla's Secret is, and hopefully this is not some really... A uh, high-tech freaking mission that takes me 30 minutes to record because I want to get this episode out of the way. I've had a lot of long recordings, but they always wind up being short episodes. I didn't need any health, but yeah, I, I know my little stealth attack like the back of my hand. Not really. Sometimes I forget it. But yeah, if you click the R3 now, it's right there on the screen. So let's see what we're doing. Cooper, we meet again. Constable Neela, thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. Oh, I should be thanking you. The look on Carmelita's face was priceless. She took it hard, huh? No one likes to have their affections played with. I know I certainly don't. Look, Neela, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I go out on the town? We'll dance through Bollywood and eat curry all night long. I'll keep it in mind, but first the task at hand. I've learned of a secret entrance leading to half of the clockwork heart. Legally, I can't enter the premises without a warrant. But now a thief like you... A thief like me can go wherever he pleases. I read you. Don't fall behind while I lead you to the entrance. This place is thick with guards, and standing still can be lethal. I hear that, sister. Sister? Like, so you want to be in a relationship with this girl, but then you're calling her sister. We did the same thing in the first chapter. Do I not have to worry about guards, or... Does she has to worry about guards? I don't know. She knows all my moves. I worked really hard to get all these freaking moves, but apparently it doesn't matter. Well, she hits the enemies, and they just hit her completely. Whenever I hit them, I gotta take, like, five hits. Or stealth attack them. I, I hate how she can just freaking do everything that I can do and better. I worked so hard to get these moves in the first game, it's like it don't matter. Okay. Mushroom. Yeah, this is just like, you know... The, the, Black Cat and Spider-Man when I was playing that game. Are we going in circles? I swear I just was here a while ago. She's taking care of the enemies for me, so that's awesome. Okay, now I'm falling behind because I wanted to wait to see if she can do it for me. And I'm falling behind because he didn't jump onto the building. Get onto the building, you fucking moron. Okay, where is she? Where is she? I'm going to literally lose this mission. It shouldn't be that difficult. But she was right there in front of me. She got bored waiting for you. Fuck this chick. Nayla doesn't like getting hit any more than you do. Try following her instead. I don't know. I'm just experimenting, okay? Well, we caught her this time. I was experimenting, like, swing at her and see what happens whenever I swing at her, but still staying right behind her. I'm guessing I was, like, halfway through the mission whenever I did that a while ago. Where are you going? I thought she was going left. She was going right. So going over the bridges. Climbing to the top. I've actually already seen the doors of this place. But, I guess she's got to show me the way there, or show me how to open them. Because I was just, like, looking around uh, in between episodes, and I realized, like, like just where the doors were. I'm running as fast as I can. I can't keep up. I'm not, am I not cutting corners fast enough, or what? Okay, now I'm catching up. Yeah, I've been here before. You can go over the bridge. Oh, okay. Lily pads. This is not where I thought we'd be dealing with these things in this uh, chapter of the game. Okay, run, run, run. These freaking monkeys constantly chase me around. Oh my god. Now, I've run across here before, too. Oh, did I jump too early? Get the hell out of the way. <laughs> this is it. And remember, if push comes to shove, I never showed you this door. And... And... And we're on for that date in Bollywood. There it is. Just like Neela said. Work hard, you'll need access to that control box, but it's locked out tight. 
Oh, I'm sure these guards won't mind if I borrow their keys. I've been to this location before, but that button was not there, so it just magically appeared. I'm gonna wait for this guy to turn around, go digging in his pockets again. I mean, I'm assuming he's gonna turn around. There he goes. Use the O button? I think it's the O button when you approach the back of him. No, don't fall off, you idiot. Coins. No, I think the key's in there now. There we go. Is Rajan right next to him? Oh, wait, no, that's another rhino. For a second, I thought it was Rajan, but I didn't get a good glance. Okay, so it's just two keys. Uh, for a second, I thought this mission just got a lot longer, but just gotta get two keys, and then that'll be it. Wait a second. Jump in there. There we go. Waiting on the freaking sprinklers, and I realized, like, they, um, they the parks you right on the side of the, the gears and whatever with the little water barrels and stuff. So that's how we get up behind this guy. Well, I gotta wait until this rhino's not shining his light behind him, because then I can't get to his pocket. Finally, that guy is leaving. Creep up behind him. Oh, button. And we got the second key. Guessing that's the it for this mission. Well... I gotta get out now. Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, that's for the locks. I remember seeing that whenever we took the pictures. Of course. They gave me help. I don't need help. Okay, well, get the help anyway. Okay, let's pick up the first half of the heart. Gotta take it all the way back. Where's he gonna put it? That's it. Half the clockwork heart. The spice won't be growing around here anytime soon. I don't know where he put it, like it wasn't on him anymore, but they're probably gonna take us back to the safe house. Dope, not not in this situation. I gotta make it all the way back on my own. For our second mission in this episode, we are doing rip off the ruby. And then those two over there, like I mentioned in the beginning, those are the ones we're doing in the next one. Uh it's up there, all the way at the top. Uh it involves using these vines that are on this thing. I should get to it from this tree right here. How do I get to that tree? I get it from one tree to the other, that's what it's gonna be. Okay. Finally got all the way up top here. It took me forever to find out how to get to this tree in specific, but this tree leads us all the way to where that ruby is. Which is gonna be the next mission. Ripping off the ruby. You see the little icon over there, little tiny blue dot from here, but still. Jump over here, on this tree, which leads us to this horny thing. It's a horn. Or, I, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. What, what is this city like in general? Some kind of octopus? I have no idea. We've been contracted to acquire that huge ruby of Rajan's for a local crime ring. In exchange for the goods, they'll set us up with a Cherry Bomb 500 for the heist. A Cherry Bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its moorings, you might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. So, was the trouble of this mission just getting here, and all I have to do is hit it? No, hit it. <laughs> whack. I got it, and now it's running away! Well, it didn't go too far. Ooh. And now we need your muscle to get it to the buyers. Muscle on the way. Oh, now Murray's got to go pick it up. It was hard enough to get Sly up there. Now I got to get up there. Fuck you, game. Okay, we're just going to jump down here because there's no guards on this path. I just fell through the vine. Amazing. No, no. Golly, I can't believe the guard didn't see me whenever I was crossing by right there. But I, I can't go anywhere right here. Like, the ninja's fire jump stuff, that's for Sly, so I got to... Go far around here somewhere. Gotta wait for this guard to pass by. So that I can get onto this bridge. Well, he never saw me, so that's all that matters. Yeah, this should lead right to this part with the lily pads and everything that you saw earlier. So, I guess he's just gonna pick it up and carry it back. Um, get the mushroom to make sure I can land on top of this stuff. Land on it. There you go. And it should be right over there. There's no... Okay, I was hoping there would be no break in the path or anything, because I've seen that before in this chapter. Murray, you can pick up the ruby with your stomp move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. 
Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Now, head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall. Cushions? He can't just carry it all the way back? Okay. No, stop. Oh, bud. There we go. I, oh, he can't jump, so... I just press the O button again. There you go. Oh, because he can't jump, it's too heavy. Well, okay, it's not that strong. I get what he means. There we go. I can't sprint anymore either. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we should just walk through this tunnel now. He blew up the, he blew up the doors. All right. Just following you, Bentley. Don't get me in trouble, man. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> I can't run as fast. As, Bentley can run faster than me now. That's, that's just sad. Okay. Throw it over there. Uh, don't land on the ruby, though. Now, now the cushion's in the way. Throw it onto that one. Double jump. Pick it up. Or stomp it up. I don't know. Stomp it up. Episode title. Maybe. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I haven't really thought about episode titles when I record videos, to be honest. I just look back and like, oh, that could be the title. I keep on trying to sprint because I don't like going slow, but that's just what the problem is. Why am I setting this down right here? Oh, he's got a... This guy's got to take it. Ruby is near flawless. I recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. She sounds like that that witch from the cartoon version of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Which is, uh, by the way, way better than the live action version from like 2005. The cartoon version came out in like the, the 60s or something. Oh my gosh, Bentley, you're leading me into security guards. Now, I know I can't jump, but you got a ramp right here. Where's he going? Why does it have my life? Ah, snakes. I'm getting followed by security. Bentley, where are you going? I don't know where Bentley's going. I don't know where I'm going. What the hell, game? What the hell, game? I'm trying to avoid getting caught by security guards. I don't know where to go, but I can't let them fight, hit my ruby because if they break the ruby, I lose. And now they're going the other way around the building. I have nowhere to go. You broke my ruby. Bentley, you're such a fucking idiot. Golly, I have to wait for guards and all kinds of crap to cross over. Okay. Now that I know where Bentley's going, he went over here. And I can just stand right here to throw it, I guess. Okay. Set. it? There you go. Now I have to find a way to get over there. Uh, I could jump, but that's too far of a jump, obviously. Can't do vines. There's a mushroom. Okay, use the mushroom. Do do. Get down here. Now we can pick it up. Go when they got a bunch of freaking guards. Okay, well we need to get all these guards off the thing. Let's stay away from the ruby for the most part. Lead all you guys over here. Don't don't hit me. That's not nice. I don't like when people aren't nice. I like nice people. Okay. Ah, uh, it's just flying from the door. Well, if this is gonna keep on happening, then I'm never gonna get to pick up the ruby again. No. Oh. There's how do you get rid of guards? Like seriously, like they just keep on coming and coming and coming. Wait a second. Uh, select button. So L1. Okay, L1. Um. Oh, it's a triangle to exit. Okay, look. L1. Fist of flame. And I'm on fire instead. That's not what I wanted. Don't break that ruby. I don't know if I punch him into it to break the ruby. Are we done yet? No. Can I be done with guards, please? I still hear guards. Okay. Golly, game. Now what? Where did Bentley go? Oh, okay, there's one over there. I can throw it from here. Plop. I see a pink thing over there, so I guess that's where our final destination is. <laughs> Get final destination out. Uh, what the f Where the hell do you guys come from? Like, seriously. Who saw me? Where do they people, like, come to the door and they see me and that's it? Because it's a stupid place for Bentley to go putting this thing to set it down. You could have set it anywhere else, but no, he wanted to set it on this freaking building, and now I'm getting attacked by, like, Fucking seven guards all at the same time. Like you see one on the left, one on the right, then they got they're all just freaking lining up to come at me. Can I sneak like right here? Will that do anything? Okay, great. More guards coming through the freaking door. I need to find my way on to this hill. I am Murray, I don't have ninja spire jump. Okay, I can jump on top of this thing. And then this thing. Get the hell off my freaking hill. My hill. 
Yeah, that's where we gotta put it. We got no security on us. Took me a while to figure out how to get onto this one. And I got some coins. Yay! I've been collecting so many coins while having to fight so many damn guards unnecessarily. Is that it? I must say, the Cooper Gang certainly lives up to its reputation. This is a true Indian treasure. We will honor the bargain and provide a Cherry Bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested. Now I'm thinking she sounds like that old lady squid from Monsters, Inc. Okay, it's time to go home. 27% game completion. And that's without collection of bottles, but this is a pretty long game anyhow. Yeah, this game is not as good as the first one, just because it got unnecessarily stupid whenever I was fighting, like, I don't know, 20 guards within the same five minute span because they just couldn't stop coming. There's not very many places to hide. I found something behind a building, which was kind of unexpected. Okay, I think I know my way back. Just get on this little bridge right there. For a second, I didn't think that uh, Murray had a stealth attack, but I pressed the triangle button just to try it out, and he actually did. I thought that was only Sly, to be honest. Okay, I know we got a mushroom to jump on over here. Okay. I always forget where this damn thing is. Stupid fucking snake. Okay. Yeah, okay, there's a monkey right next to my hideout, but I don't give a crap. Okay, let's go in there. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Oh, it took a while for me to get through the first mission and then the second one, but I can't decide which one took longer, but that golly, that second mission was mostly stupid just because of all them freaking guards just piling up around me. And we got the bug in the office, so the thing's coming on the radio. But see you next time. That's that, and episode over.